Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So uh, we're in August, and uh, we're going to be releasing some lacewing eggs here. And these here were um, done in the rice hulls. So we're, we're going to get this opened here and see what all came in this pack here and get these here released. So um, before I open this, these have started hatching out. Now these are carnivores and they will start eating each other. So uh, we really got to get these released and out of here real quick. So uh, they can start working on our plants. So in our pack here, which the white flag just flew on me. It came with these. This down here. Little boxes here that you unfold and you can there we go put them right into place like that and then it has a little thing where you can hang this right on your plants like this so we're going to you can see all the white flies on here and I don't want these on here so we have one of our ladybugs here from last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these bags here. And this is the one that has these already hatched out in it, some of them. Uh, they kind of moved on me. I want to get them out of here because they will start eating each other. And I don't want them to. They give you like a tab up top here. Where you can just take and peel this back. And I went with uh, 5,000 of these lace wings. And we're going to be putting them in all of the greenhouses. Lace wings are good for getting rid of white flies, scale. Here, we're just going to shake some of these out in here. We're going to evenly distribute them. They said between all of the packs, so hope that's enough there. And we're just going to take and we're going to hang it on this eggplant here, as soon as I can get this to move here. There we go. And as these hatch out, they'll crawl up the stems and then they're going to find their food on the plants themselves. And you can see here's one of the little ones right here. It's crawling out. So, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Hold on, let me hold the camera still. That's how small they are. I had the camera zoomed in. So, it's going to find this marigold plant here and start going to town cleaning. So that's exactly what I needed to be doing. Here we go. Come on, go on the stem. There it goes. So it's on that stem there. And here's another one right here on a marigold. I think that one's eating one of the eggs from it because it had it hatched out in the pack. So in the greenhouses right now, we're dealing with some spider mites, white flies, some aphids, not too many aphids, but some aphids, and we're also dealing with thrips. We did already release some ladybugs, because you can apparently release these together. Just take this here. I'm going to put this back on one of these eucalyptus trees here. And we 
we're dealing with some spider mites on the eucalyptus trees. They just got in this greenhouse and I want to get them out of here as quick as we can. So, there we go. And you know what, let me, let me move this one here a little bit. Oops. I want that leaf in there. This one here down here a little further. There we go. So what they'll do is, is as they hatch out, they'll crawl up and then they'll start crawling up the stems of the plants. Because these are closer together, they should hopefully migrate out between all of them. Okay, here's some. Here, you can see these little guys right here. See them right there? You see them? Right there, there are little lace wings and they are. I'm gonna continue putting these throughout the greenhouse this year. I wanna get these out since they are hatching. Um, uh, that one looks like it may have eaten one of its relatives. Um, so I'll come back and I'll show you when this is all done where I have them at. Uh, you wanna put them where they're not gonna get rained on or get wet and uh, you wanna kinda of put them in like the shade sort of. So when I have these all set, we'll be back. Okay, so you can see I have these kind of put at different places in the greenhouses. That's back there with the eucalyptus. For some reason, the white flies really like the eucalyptus. So I wanted to make sure I got some back at the eucalyptus. And I put some out here with the eggplants. And I put a bunch in uh, the other greenhouses. Um, some of the plants that had the really thin stems, I kind of... Uh, shook some of the stuff out onto them because I knew it wouldn't be able to support the weight of those boxes. And I kind of went and I scattered them at different places throughout this greenhouse here. Now the ladybugs are in here and they are eating. I took the pack and I completely opened it up and I put it in here in case there were any that I missed. Some of the eggs kind of stuck to the pack. So um, I want to make sure that you know we didn't have any trap in the pack. And I put one in here on the snapdragons in this greenhouse here. And then I put some in this greenhouse too. This is spider mite damage here. And you can see I emptied the pack there. So let me see if I can, where was that little one? It is already, there was a little one in here I had just seen and it's already moving around. You can see there's one of our ladybugs there. But this is spider mite damage here. Um, I should not have put these marigolds in a greenhouse. I wasn't thinking about it when I put them in. Uh, a lot of people say that marigolds will repel spider mites. I have actually found that marigolds will draw spider mites. So I put one of these on this plant here. They told you to hang them on all the infected plants. Well, there's a lot of plants in here and I didn't have enough boxes. They are very small. Um, you might need like a magnifying glass or something to see them because of how small they are. Now, ants will eat your laceate wing eggs. So if you have a problem with ants, uh, you want to kind of let them hatch some in the pack, they say, which these were already doing when I got them. And uh, that's why I put them out. And then you want to put them out because, like I said, they will eat each other, which is what they were doing. And I put another box down in there. But we were controlling this at first with sprays. And the sprays have worn off, that's why I've released all of the good guys in here. And um, it was doing well, but what happens is, is with spider mites, especially as fast as they reproduce, with all the heat that we were getting from when it was real hot out, they just went faster than what we could control. So um, we knocked them down pretty good with the sprays but I wanted something to completely get rid of them. And I decided to go with the lacy wings and the ladybugs. So lace wings are good for controlling aphids, small caterpillars, white flies, spider mites, scale, thrips, mealybugs, and more. And I have actually seen these already take on a whole pile of aphids on a plant and within under an hour they had the thing completely cleaned off now i don't know if it's because there was nothing else around maybe that one was really hungry 
but I have seen these things really clean off plants already for pests and because we were dealing with such a wide range of different things I decided to go ahead and give these a try in the greenhouses to see how they would do and these do bite so if you find one of the little larvas and you try and pick it up to move it somewhere please know that it might bite you my dad got bit by one and um, we had found it on one of our plants when we took them inside after we harvested. So he went to take it up to the pansies because they were covered in aphids. And the thing bit him when he was taking it up. So he wasn't too happy about that. So they do bite. And if you have a problem with ants, the ants will eat the lacy wing eggs. So uh, they do recommend that you pre-hatch them before you release them out. And uh, I will have a link for these and the ladybugs that I use down in the description of this video. Um, I have heard where some people said that theirs never hatched. I don't know if they never hatched or if they just couldn't see them. Because they are very small when they first hatch out and then they grow as they mature. So um, you might need a magnifying glass to see them. Because when I checked on these before I didn't see anything in them when I checked on them later on I could see all the little things crawling around so I knew that they were hatching out